Hey guys, in this video I will be unboxing the HTC Titan, which is a Windows Phone 7.5 device. Um, I will try not to bore you too much with the box, so let's take a quick look at the specifications on the back. Um, hopefully you can see them. It's got a 1.5 GHz CPU. Um, it's obviously running Windows Phone 7.5 Mango. It's got 16 gigabytes of storage, 512 megabytes of RAM, a 4.7 inch touch screen. Um, it's got an internal GPS, um, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, BGN, DLNA. Um, it's got a front facing 1.3 megapixel camera. It's got an 8 megapixel rear camera with dull LED flash, um, which is capable of recording in 720p HD. Now we've gotten all of that out of the way, let me take the phone out of the box. So here we have the phone, I might leave this to last actually, I'll just put the phone to the side here. Let's open that up. Now let's see, what do we have here? The first um, thing you will see is um, something about the Windows Phone 7 license terms, you know, nothing too exciting. The HTC Contact Us booklet, the warranty statement, the Windows Phone 7 software license terms, you know, these are all guides that you're going to enjoy reading, obviously, safety and regulatory guide, your HTC Titan quick guide, they don't even call it quick start guide, um, and Windows Phone how to get started. I don't know, this just seems to be some sort of booklet, you know, nice and colourful. Nothing super exciting. Uh, looks like we have a wall adapter there, a USB cable, and some HTC headphones. Let me just open these up. We know what all of the wall adapters look like. Though... You know, they were okay headphones, you know, typical HTC headphones, they say HTC innovation on them. You have got this sort of, you know, call, answer, end button and this volume control, you know, song changing button. We've also got what I presume are, you know, the ends for the headphones, you know, they aren't very good to be honest. I've used the HTC headphones before. Now let's take a look at the device, here it is. Let me just take it out of the packaging. It's a very nice looking device. We have the um, 1.3 megapixel camera in the top right hand corner here. Uh, we have the back button, the Windows key and the search key which um, seems to be typical of all um, Windows Phone 7 devices. Um, we have the you know rear 8 megapixel camera there, we have the dual flash. The headphone jack there at the top, it says Windows Phone on the back. Um, yeah, and we also have, you know, obviously the power lock and lock button on the top. We have the volume rocker on the right hand side. I presume that this is a dedicated camera button right there. Um, underneath, you know, that's just where how you take the case off. You sort of push that in to take the back case off. Um, and you can connect your um, micro USB charger there. Um, so I'm not sure if there is much else I can show you. Um, I might quickly turn the device on if it has any charge. Okay, so I have just taken the back cover off and this is why I couldn't turn it on before. It does have a bit of plastic there. So you know that the device is brand new. Let me just put the back cover back on and now we should be able to turn the device on. It just um, vibrated, so I know that I've turned it on. It's a bit of a fingerprint magnet, though all phones are, really. Um, but yeah, that's um, pretty much it for this um, video. You know, it's quite a nice device. I've got a few fingerprints on it already, as I'm sure you can tell. Though I quite like the device. It's, you know, relatively um, thin. It's one of the better Windows Phone 7 devices out at the moment. I quite like it. I might uh, make a review video a bit later, um, though if you have any questions then feel free to ask me and thanks for watching.